Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. I have a Toyota Tacoma update. Um, had a buyer for it and I was having a real hard time letting it go because uh, I'm taking a loss basically. Uh, and I really love the truck. Um, went out four wheeling over the weekend. I didn't bring a camera. It was just a, you know, spur of the moment thing and just go have some fun. And I might have had a little bit of a accident. Um, go up here and I'll show Hello. you what I'm talking about. And welcome to Midlife Crisis. My name is Aaron and I invite you to follow along with me and my son Austin on our journey as we build out a few camper vans and customize a new Toyota Tacoma into a beast. Then later in the year we'll head out to Southeast Asia to ride a couple of adventure bikes through multiple countries sharing the amazing experience with our viewers and ending our tour in Thailand. There, we will decide what to do next. Maybe buy a sailboat and sail around the world. Who knows? So please hit subscribe and follow us on this adventure. So, I heard like a clunk when I pull into the driveway. And I'm like, what the hell is that? Um, sorry, lighting. I gotta get my lighting right. Um, and I, I kind of like left it alone for a little bit thinking, you know, it's just a four wheel lift thing and whatever. So then I go, take a look and here's what I found first I'm gonna turn my light on so you can see underneath here real well so here's what I thought it was first I don't know if you can see this but the bushing has come out of the old uh, old man emu lift you can see I have separation right here between the bushing and the post that's not supposed to happen so that's what I thought it was first um, and then when I took it in to Toyota to see if they could take this out and replace the bushing. Uh, by the way, Old Man Emu, we emailed them on uh, Thursday. I sent them a copy of my, let's get the lighting right, sent them a copy of my uh, purchase from Mudify and they got back to me on Monday morning and said, hey, we're sending you out a new set of bushings right now. You should have them in a few days. And I just got notice from uh, FedEx, they'll be here tomorrow. So what is that? That'll be five days five days they had the parts to me after uh, hitting their warranty service so shout out to old man emu for hitting me up or arb actually i think they're out of oregon or washington anyway so i had my mechanic guy look at it because toyota won't work on it after we've modified it and they didn't do it um get the lighting better so i take it into to barry my mechanic guy and barry goes hey um Oh geez, that got real worse. He goes, hey, did you notice <laughs> this under here? And I go, oh, fudge. And I go, that's gonna run a few bucks, isn't it? And he goes, oh yeah. <laughs> so apparently when we went off-roading, I'm gonna crawl underneath the, the vehicle here so you can see this. I know I slipped down a rock and heard a large clank, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. But you see right here? I tore through the boot and the drive shaft is broken. I literally broke my damn drive shaft. I don't know if you can see that in there. I'll try to get you up in there. So, in any case, ugh, all greasy again. I got under there before and it literally will move and that's what was clanking. So, um, where did I go? Oh, uh, back to... What is it? Mountain Terrain, I think is the name of the website. That's where I bought a lot of my off-road accessories. And here we go. So this thing, not very expensive. Um, it's fully contained. Everything is sealed. So it's already greased. It's already got the, the rubber boots on it, ready to go. This was $149 uh, with tax shipping and all that crap. It came out to like 165 ish I'm not gonna take it out of the bag because there is grease in there and I don't want it to get uh, greasy in my truck or in the box. But yeah, so 150 bucks to replace that if you wanted to replace both of them. By the way, this is a little bit beefier than stock. It is an OEM, but they, they claim it is a little bit stronger than the stock version, which apparently I need. Um, but you can buy two of these for 250 bucks. One of them is 150 bucks. So you get a nice little savings if you buy both of them at the same time. Anyway, so I got that, and then I have the the bushings. They'll be here tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and get that um, all fixed up. Uh, I'll show you when we take it over to Barry what he has to do. Um, 
he said you're gonna have to leave it with me for a couple hours this is not a quick fix now normally I would do this myself but since we um, subleased the shop to my neighbor who Austin's now working for I think I mentioned in a previous video um, I sold off most of all my tools that I would need like the big three-ton jack and all the jack stands and just other crap that I don't want to carry to uh, Florida uh, and I'll have an update video on Florida I've got a, a pretty decent second job interview coming up uh, for somewhere in st. Petersburg so um, stay tuned for that I'm hoping that goes well um, that's actually where I'd rather be is on that side I mentioned in a previous video so um, as soon as the parts come in we'll get over to Barry's and we'll get you caught up hey guys okay finally got my appointment so we're up here at uh, BC Automotive stands for Barry anyway he's a pretty good good guy we've known him for several years Wendy, Wendy introduced him to me probably three four years ago uh, but he's got a nice little shop here he does all of his own work he does a lot of trucks I don't know if you can see him back there but he's got trucks out front here waiting um, but we're gonna drop it off we're not gonna do any filming today he's gonna take care of it first thing in the morning when it's nice and cool and then uh, we'll be back to pick it up tomorrow you probably ask yourself why didn't you take it to Toyota well Toyota told me to pound sand um, because we did the modified uh, lift and everything aftermarket they didn't want to touch it it's whatever so that's why we're bringing it to Barry cheaper labor anyway by the way um, once again we're replacing the passenger side drive line um, drive shaft uh, we broke that oops and the uh, the bushings um, which came in super fast from ARB uh, the bushings to the upper control arm and he's gonna swap those out real quick um, so yeah probably just two hours of work 100 bucks an hour no big deal anyway we'll get back to you when it's all done hey guys welcome back okay so we got the truck home and the labor was about 240 bucks to replace all that and fix the upper control arm um, apparently what had happened in the upper control arm is that there was a sleeve missing so either I must have lost it when installing it or it didn't come with one which I probably lost it I didn't even didn't even realize it so pay attention to those things because it slipped right out he said when he took it out of the the bag the the bushings to put in there that they fell right out so somehow I must have lost one of them I don't know how but We'll go with idiot. Um, anyway, so they're all back to normal. Um, as you can see now, up in here, the bushing is not up and over this joint there. And it looks right on that side as well. Down below, you can see our drive line is nice and I can't, it's kind of hard to get the camera in there, but you can see the drive lines all nice and installed. Now I got to go clean all this crap off that came out of that boot. So anyway, back in. That mistake cost me $165 for no, 100 yeah, $160 for the uh the drive line. Uh, they were 149 plus shipping and tax and all that. And then uh, the bushings were free because ARB warrants their stuff. And thank you, ARB. Those guys are great. Um, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. We got nothing else to do on the truck um, for quite a while. I looked at the bigger um, head units for the stereos, but I just, God, it's two grand for what? Another three inches? If we were talking about something else, I'd pay for it. But. Um, <laughs> stop it um, sorry mom um, anyway that's yeah that's about it I don't I don't have anything else I want to do to it right now um, just gonna hang on to it and if I see something I like maybe we'll do it I don't know we'll have to see so thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed my screw-ups and uh, learn from my mistakes people okay all right bye